Remember the classes today. Remember the classes on going back. TV special. Emmy Award winning. Motown 25. Motown 25. Yesterday, today, and forever. Aired May 16th, 1983 on NBC. When it aired, it changed the world. It was recorded live in the Pasadena Civic Auditorium on March 25th, 1983. Celebrating 25 years of the legendary Motown Records, uh, one of the greatest record companies of all time. Hosted by Richard Pryor. Performers was all over, man. Motown there had all the acts. They had all the acts, man. Uh, Junior Walker and the All-Stars. Donna Ross came down. Uh, Lionel Richie was there. Commodores was there. Mary Wells was there. Martha Reese was there. Smokey Roberts and the Miracles. All of them were there. They all came out for the night, man. That's what I'm talking about. They came to represent. And this is like, yo, these are our first... Like, really, really big black celebrities. <laughs> so it's like, to see them all in one show, it's like, it's incredible. You had to watch the show if you were black. I remember being eight and sitting there with my mom and my Uncle Gus, and we was watching this show, and it was like, man, it was a who's who of talent. Favorite performances? Marvin Gaye was going on. It was just before he wound up getting shot. Stevie Wonder did a nice little melody. Temptations versus the Four Tops. They were going back to back. I like. I had never seen nothing like that as a kid, man. I, that was great. It was another group on the come up. They were new. The Barge. The Barge and High Energy came out. That was incredible, man. But the the main reason you watched the show, we knew Michael was on it. We knew two months before it came out. Michael Jackson had the hottest album in the world, and he ain't been with his brothers in years. And they were like, look, you come back? He like, man, if I come back, I got to do, do a solo spot. They gave him a solo spot, and an icon was born that day. Because he's always been always been around, but after that, it changed it forever. And they were, bump, they were, they were pumping that up so much. Like, Entertainment Tonight was on every day. I'm eight years old watching this, and they like, they pumping it up every day. And it's coming on town, coming on next week. Watch the Town 25. Michael Jackson's performance is incredible. It comes on, and that's exactly what it was. It was incredible. And what made it great, because he was like the last child of Motown. And he outperformed every party that was before. Him, and it was amazing. The best thing about the show, besides Michael Jackson, Barry Gordy's dream came to reality. It came to reality. 25 years of Motown, the soundtrack of so many people's lives, that's, in, that's important to me and everybody. This, this movie, this is the first like black music that really crossed over. I think it's the most important music ever. I think the Motown sound is the most important music ever. There's no Jay-Z, there's no Puffy. Hell, there ain't no rap music without these guys because they made black music really acceptable. So for 65 years, Mary Gordy has delivered and made itself an icon. And Motown music is, like I said, is the most important music in the history of my life. <laughs> in my life. There's no other record company that produced it more stars than that Detroit Motown sound. So thank you, Barry Gordy. Happy 65 years. Next second.